गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ अभिषेक शर्मा फ्रॉम माउंट लिटरासी स्कूल झांसी एज यू नो डेट वी आर ऑन सेवन चैप्टर ऑफ बिजनेस स्टडीज ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्थ द नेम ऑफ चैप्टर इज डायरेक्टिंग इन माय प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट डायरेक्टिंग इट्स मीनिंग एंड इंट्रोडक्शन फीचर्स इंपॉर्टेंस एंड नाउ टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ डायरेक्टिंग so what are the elements of directing basically there are four elements of directing by combination of these four point we get directing as you are seeing on my white screen i have already mentioned supervision motivation communication and leadership so basically these are the four elements of directing today we are going to discuss the supervision and motivation so what is supervision the supervision means instructing guiding monitoring and observing the employee while they are performing jobs in the organization the word supervision is the combination of two words supervision supervision which means super means over and above vision means seeing or looking so supervision means seeing the activities of employees from over and above basically it is the instructing the employees guiding the employees and linking pin between worker and the middle level and the second element is motivation motivation can be defined as a stimulating inspiring and inducing the employee to perform in their best capacity motivation is a psychological term which means it cannot be forced on employees it comes automatically from inside the employees as it is unwillingness to do the work and uh, the motivation is a process of making subordinates to act in a desired manner to achieve the institutional goals if we learn this to concept there are three terms which we will are going to learn that is motive motivation and motivators so what is a motive a motive is an inner state or desire which energizes an individual to move or to behave towards achievement of goals motive arises out of needs of an individual A and we have already discussed about motivation motivation it is a process of inducing people to perform to their best ability to accomplish the goal motivators motivators are the in incentives or techniques used to motivate the people in an organization the common motivators used by the managers are increment bonus promotion recognition and respect and whatever may be the best for the situation now what are the features of motivation basically there are the five features of motivation first is motivation is a psychological phenomena motivation is a internal feeling which cannot which means it cannot be forced on employees internal feelings such as need desire aspiration etc influence human behavior to behave in a particular manner motivation produces goal directed behavior motivation induces people to behave in a such a manner so that they can achieve their goal motivated person need no supervision or direction third motivators can be of positive as well as negative positive motivators are promotion increment bonus respect whereas negative motivators are warning issue of memo demotion stopping increment etc motivation is a complex process it is right motivation is a complex and difficult task in order to motivate people a manager must understand various type of human needs and behavior and it is a psychological concept now the last point is motivation is a dynamic and continuous process it is true to say that motivation is a dynamic and continuous process because human beings are ever changing human needs are unlimited and and keeps on changing continuously and on a regular basis satisfying of one need gives rise to another it is natural process and nothing is incorrect in this statement so manager have to continuously perform the function of motivation so that they they can satisfy the needs of their employees and may make him satisfied and comfortable so that's all for today 
थैंक यू एंड हैव अ नाइस डे